At BIC, we achieve our mission and vision by building our activities around three strategic pillars. The first pillar is cluster building. At BIC, our goal is to continue to build the hybrid chemistry cluster that is right here in Sarnia Lambton. And in the future, we'd like to see uh, the model adopted by cities across Canada. The second pillar is strategic investment. Uh, BIC invests in companies that have clean, green and sustainable technology and that have a high potential for success. As you all heard earlier, uh, we just approved a, a investment in Origin um, and we truly do believe that they have a very high potential for success. The third pillar is being a strong leader for commercialization. BIC not only invests in startups, we also provide advice and services to them as well. By utilizing our expertise, bringing awareness and understanding of commercialization, BIC helps to accelerate the success of the businesses. Uh, that really comes to a lot from our, our management team. Uh, Sandy Marshall, Wayne Madaver, and Murray McLaughlin are very, very well connected here in, in Sarnia Lambton and really uh, across Canada. Um, and it's their understanding of the commercialization process uh, from both an operation and uh, and the technology and um, that uh, provides quite a bit of value to the companies that we invest in. To support our, our three pillars, uh, BIC has three core offerings. The Bioproducts uh, Ag Side Cluster Initiative, the Center for Commercialization of Sustainable uh, Chemistry Innovation, also known as ComSci, and the Sustainable Chemistry Alliance Investment Fund. The Bioproducts Ag Side Cluster is funded through Agriculture and Agri-Foods Canada, and it is to support research and development of bioproducts with a benefit to agriculture in Canada. The current framework for this program is coming to an end, but the next framework is set to begin, as I'm told by Michael Faba, uh, around April of uh, 2018. Um, our ComSci uh, fund is, is funded through uh, FedDev Ontario and the Ontario Ministry of Research, Innovation and Science. ComSci is a, uh, a project-focused uh, um, initiative um, that looks at removing barriers to commercialization and can provide a rebate of up to 30% of uh, total project costs. Projects uh, must be uh, initiated in Southern Ontario uh, and the project uh, funds are subjected to the, the standard government stacking rules. There's currently no limit to the size of a, of a project that we can engage in. However, the projects uh, that we've done so far typically be, uh, tend to be in the range of uh, $100,000 to $200,000. Uh, companies are also not limited to the number of projects that they can complete with BIC. Uh, we've worked with a few companies that have, have completed uh, two projects and, and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll have more in the future. ComSci projects uh, provide a great opportunity uh, for startups to engage with BIC while overcoming barriers um, that they may have otherwise prevented them from continuing along their path to commercialization. ComSci projects also uh, build the business case and the relationship uh, with BIC um, for if and when a startup decides uh, that they're going to seek investment from us. BIC can invest a maximum of $500,000 uh, into a company um, and these investments must be made in Southern Ontario and they must show a benefit to Canada. All of our potential investments go through a three-stage process. The first stage is uh, a review by the management team, uh, typically uh, initiated by me and then it gets passed on to, to Wayne, uh, our portfolio manager. The second stage is with our investment management committee and the third stage is a re review by our board of directors. Through all of these stages, we are looking to answer the following key questions. Does this uh, investment meet our vision of being clean, green and sustainable? Is this a new or game-changing technology? Is there a clear benefit to Canada? Is it a superior management team? And is there a clear need for BIC investment and strategic assistance? If we can answer yes to all of those questions, you and your company are on a good path to, uh, to follow through uh, with BIC investment. It's not a guarantee, but it's definitely a very good start. This next slide uh, illustrates where BIC likes to, to kind of come in. 
for investment. The earlier, the better. I mean, as long as you're past the, the beaker stage and you're, you're looking to do a uh, demonstration or, or validation of your technology, um, we can usually come in and, and, and help you out there. We're usually a seed capital uh, or an early stage investor. Um, we're also comfortable being the lead investor or as part of a consortium. Uh, the typical investment vehicles for, for us is convertible debt, although we have taken equity positions as well. Um, as you can see in the slide here, this should be 6.5 million. But as you can see, we've been able to, to leverage uh, 6.5 million um, into 143 uh, million in matching uh, funds, and that's through other investments. BIC has, through their uh, investments, has created over 2,000 jobs four demonstration plants, and one major plant that is uh, BioAmber Sarnia. We have several projects on the, the go currently. Uh, one is working towards the first cellulosic glucose sugar supply chain. This is being done in partnership with both uh, the Cellulosic Sugar Producers Cooperative and Comet Biorefining. The supply chain rely, will rely on both corn stover and wheat straw is the feedstocks for a cellulosic sugar conversion plant. Another project that we have on the go is with the Ontario Sugar Beet Growers Association. The goal of this project is uh, to create a profitable and sustainable sugar beet processing cooperative in Lambton County. Uh, and this is being done with the help of Lambton College and the Western Sarnia Lambton Research Park. Uh, EIC has been developing and designing engineer and preliminary cost estimates for a 120,000 ton per year processing plant. Uh, as some of you have, have already heard, uh, we, in the last year we have committed two investments equaling a million dollars, uh, each of uh, the investments for 500,000 to both uh, Comet Biorefining and Ubiquity Solar. Uh, in addition to these investments, uh, we've engaged in several ComSci projects. Uh, one of these projects is with a company called Econ's Water Purification, um, and they're piloting a, uh, a technology uh, to help uh, craft breweries, uh, and that's currently being piloted at uh, Sada City in Gravenhurst, Ontario. What this technology is doing is cleaning up the wastewater uh, from breweries. Uh, the water is really, really rich after the uh, fermentation process, and this is cleaning it up. BIC continues to work with many startups, uh, both for investment purposes and for projects. Uh, if you've not yet had a conversation uh, about your, with us about your technology, I strongly encourage you to seek out either myself or one of my colleagues. Uh, that are here today. Thank you for your time and I look forward to having conversations with you in the future.